Welcome, art enthusiasts, to a world where audacity and creativity collide. Today, we're diving headfirst into history's most daring museum heists. Get ready for an immersive journey into the art of intrigue. Art heists have an alluring mystique, where cunning criminals, priceless masterpieces, and audacious thefts converge. Museums revered as bastions of culture have been shaken by these daring exploits throughout history. Brace yourselves as we explore 10 enduring art heists that have captivated the world, unraveling the tales behind each audacious theft and the destinies of the stolen treasures. Our journey embarks with the enigmatic Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist of 1990. In an audacious feat, two thieves masquerading as police officers infiltrated the museum, making off with 13 invaluable artworks, including treasures by Vermeer, Rembrandt, and Degas. The stolen art, valued at a staggering $500 million, remained shrouded in mystery, with empty frames serving as chilling reminders of a heist that defies resolution. Our next chapter unfolds at the Van Gogh Museum in 2002. Two mesmerizing paintings by Vincent Van Gogh were stolen, thrusting into the spotlight the urgency of conserving cultural heritage and the lengths to which criminals will go to exploit it. These stolen masterpieces eventually found their way back in 2016 in Italy, illuminating the triumph of resilience against theft. The year 2004 witnessed the iconic theft of Edvard Munch's The Scream from the Munch Museum in Oslo, Norway, accompanied by the disappearance of another masterpiece, Madonna. These evocative works resurfaced in 2006, offering a fortunate twist in the narrative of stolen art. This segment delves into the emotional and symbolic power of these pieces and the lengths institutions undertake to shield their treasures. Our journey takes a thrilling turn to 2010, when a brazen theft reverberated through the Paris Museum of Modern Art. An audacious thief pilfered five paintings, including works by Picasso, Braque, and Modiglinian, boasting an estimated valuation exceeding $100 million. Years later, the stolen art lingers in the shadows, casting an unexpected pall over the vibrant collection. The year 2012 thrust the Kunsthal Museum in Rotterdam, Netherlands, onto the center stage of an audacious heist. In a scene reminiscent of a thriller, seven paintings adorned with names like Picasso, Monet, and Matisse vanished without a trace, with a collective value soaring into the tens of millions. These stolen masterpieces remain elusive sparking crucial debates about museum security and the far-reaching impact of such transgressions on the world of art. We rewind to 1985 in Mexico City, where the National Museum of Anthropology suffered a grievous theft. Valuable pre-Columbian artifacts, including the illustrious Aztec sunstone, were spirited away. While some treasures were later recovered, this incident thrust the international market for stolen cultural artifacts into sharp focus, igniting ongoing endeavors to repatriate these invaluable relics. Our narrative journeys to Rome in 1987, where audacity took the form of a theft from the National Gallery of Modern Art. Four illustrious paintings by Cezanne, Monetti, and Van Gogh vanished only to reappear almost a decade later in 1999. This recovery became a beacon of hope, shedding light on law enforcement's determination to reclaim stolen art and restore the balance between justice and the art world. The year 2011 bore witness to a singular thief targeting the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, England. This daring act culminated in the theft of an assortment of Chinese art including jades and ceramics tracing back to the Ming and Qing dynasties. 
Much of this stolen legacy persists as a poignant reminder of the illicit demand that swirls around culturally significant artifacts. In 1972, Audacity took on a new form as three armed thieves orchestrated a brazen heist at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts. Their haul included an array of jewelry and artworks featuring luminaries such as Rembrandt, Bruegel, and Delacroix. Over the years, the dogged efforts of law enforcement have yielded the recovery of much of this stolen art. Embodying the resilience and determination to safeguard the artistic heritage. Our final chapter takes us to the Oslo Cathedral in 1994, where Edvard Munch's The Madonna was surreptitiously purloined. Though not a heist of grand proportions, this event underscored the intrinsic symbolic and emotional value art holds in society's heart. A jubilant conclusion awaited in 2006 when the stolen painting was triumphantly reclaimed, putting a fitting cap on this emotional journey. So, as we conclude our odyssey, these 10 enduring art heists stand as testaments to the complexity of protecting our cultural heritage. Museums, the guardians of our collective legacy, can be vulnerable to audacious thefts that challenge our notions of security, value, and the profound impact of art on human society. Thank you for joining us on this riveting exploration of the art of intrigue, revealing history's 10 most enduring museum heists. Remember, the allure of audacious heists and stolen treasures is more than just an art. It's a reflection of the human spirit's unyielding quest for the extraordinary things.